Poke Rogue is a unique roguelike experience set in the Pokemon universe. Developed by Sam, also known as Flashfire on GitHub, the game boasts a variety of features including various gameplay modes, trainer battles, boss fights, and even an egg gacha system. This combination of exciting and engaging gameplay elements has had players hooked since its release in March of 2024. However, this explosion of popularity was not what lead developer Sam was looking for, and it quickly became too much to handle. With a sudden announcement from Sam that he had stepped down from his position and removed himself from the community entirely. The events that followed were unprecedented in the community and took everyone by surprise. I've pieced together a timeline for the events that occurred to try and get to the bottom of what really happened to Pokerogue in the wake of Sam's departure. To get a better understanding of the situation, let's take another look at Sam's announcement and pay close attention to what seems to be the key factors he considered while making his decision to leave. In this paragraph, Sam says, I understand that this project's growth continues to accelerate, and there is still so much potential in it yet to be reached. To many, this would seem like the worst possible time to leave. I've had so many ideas that I know people would love and make the experience even better. However, after much consideration and consulting with family and close friends, I believe it would be better for both myself and the project's continued growth for me to step away on a good note. Now this is a complete tonal shift, but I want to be very transparent. The biggest reason I'm making this decision is because a project like this ultimately isn't compatible with my intended trajectory in life, as someone who naturally tends towards an unbalanced use of his time. I have found it impossible to be moderate in the amount of time I spend on something like this. As a hobby, it has become too important and consuming to me, and has been hindering the things I value most, including my faith, my family, and my job. I am first and foremost a man seeking to follow God's path for me in life, and my short time alive in this world should be spent serving Jesus Christ, rather than feeding my own ambitions. I suppose with this resignation, I am giving back to the world what belonged to the world in the first place, so that I am not responsible if it changes in any ways that do not align with my personal values. Rather than choosing to hold what is now a community project to my own personal standards in an effort to preserve a clean conscience for myself. The final two paragraphs go on to say that while it does hurt to leave behind a project that meant so much to him, it is important that he does so. He thanks the people that will take over from him and thanks other people that helped throughout the project's lifetime getting it to the point that it's at, announces that he will not be taking on any other projects and will likely take a break from social media Signing off with, thank you, Sam. The three Bible verses that are quoted at the bottom of the page are Luke 21.34, 1 John 2.15, and 1 Corinthians 13.11. I am not religious and do not have an understanding of how to interpret Bible verses, so I will just put them here for you to read. Following Sam's departure, the Pokey Road community Discord server descended into madness, with users discussing anti-religious topics, gender identity topics, as well as racist and ableist subjects, which overall turned the server into an unwelcoming place to be for anyone wanting to talk about a cool Pokemon game. Something had to be done to get the Discord server back on track. A moderator, who goes by the username Megalith, tried to step up to the plate but was quickly removed as they were exposed for using ableist language as well. Some community members would try to steer the conversations back towards Pokemon, but were then seen as not supportive of the current topic being discussed, despite the topic having no connection to the game itself. While the Discord server was in pandemonium, a private conversation between ex-lead developer Sam and another user, Akuma, who was quite active in the server, became public. The screenshots start with Sam saying he does not agree that people should be required by law to make certain decisions if they don't affect other people. He goes on to say that because he is a person with traditional values, he is far from pro-trans, but that it is not his place to tell people how to live. Akuma replies to this, asking why Sam is far from pro-trans, to which Sam replies that it's due to his biblical view of the world. Akuma digs a little deeper into this religious subject, saying, I'm not a Christian, but I do retain a lot of values from it, 
My view is that whatever greater being there is created trans people to give them a path of self-discovery and hardships to overcome. Sam replies to this by saying that it comes down to the way God wants things to be, and that anything that goes against it is something that he will passively disagree with, but that does not mean actively telling people to conform to his value system and that it is just his opinion. Akuma responds to this by saying, don't you think God could create those paths so that people could follow them? However, Sam is not convinced, stating that he does not believe it's God's will, and that humans are naturally guided by the flesh they were given at birth and need to look for God's will for themselves. Akuma then seems to try for a gotcha here, as they say, do you view people born without certain limbs seeking prosthetics in the same vein? Sam replies no. That's a physical difference that's out of their control. However, when it's a mental thing, it's harder to discern. Now here's where something seems off with the screenshots. There's a 16 minute gap between these two images and Sam looks like he's double texting here but replying to a different topic. But regardless of the inconsistency, Sam is seen here saying, If you'll allow me to be very honest, I am strongly biased against an environment that encourages children to be trans even when there is no internal origin for that, because it plays on factors like puberty, and then they can end up making life-changing decisions that they regret. Now again we have a 6 minute gap between the screenshots and the topic seems to have shifted to a discussion about puberty blockers. Just to summarize this one, it's a back and forth between the two about how puberty blockers are being banned in certain countries because they do not have enough research to say whether or not there's any lasting effects on children. Sam is of course anti-puberty blockers, Akuma is for puberty blockers. Now this last screenshot here is heavily cropped. We need to assume that it's from Akuma because it came from the same source, but we don't know 100%. It does not say Akuma at the top, we have to assume. Sam replies to this 8 minutes after his previous response, but this person says, What are your thoughts on gay people existing? I know there is a line in the Bible that says it's a sin, but that was a mistranslation and it was actually that a man and a child should not sleep together. Sam responds by saying, I think that discovery was probably a biased mistranslation itself, and that within the scriptures God makes his intentions for relations very clear. And this is where the screenshots end. Unfortunately, there's no way to prove that this is the entire conversation. With all of the jumps in time, uh, seemingly unprompted subject changes and the obvious omission of some parts of the conversation, it's difficult to see this as a genuine interaction, however this is the best that we have for right now. When this conversation went public, a new mod, Edifit, took over in the PokeRogue community discord server, however it seems their time in that position was not to last. We need to take a look at Edifit's Twitter account to get their side of the story. The claims from users that Edifit was doing more harm than good were taken seriously, as they were quickly issued a timeout, turning to Twitter to share their version of events and give an explanation. They introduce themselves and mention that they have been silenced by other admins. They go on to say that Sam leaving for religious reasons was confusing and that he was a transphobe. The staff were also revealing their true colours, so Edifit was forced into PR mode, trying to ban everyone they viewed as a bigot, which other staff did not like. Then they mentioned that Pancakes is innocent of all this drama, and simply inherited a lot of problems, wrapping up with a brief disclaimer and reminder that not all mods were game devs. One hour after these tweets, Edifit is seen again with an apology, saying, We'll admit that I made mistakes when I became community manager, like banning a mod that was not actually problematic, and I do apologize for that. I'm just going to step away from the entire situation. Pancakes is still a good person, trying to fix this. With Edifit stepping away and the Discord still in shambles, it's time to introduce the next character of this story, Prodigy. At this stage, the PokeRogue community Discord server has been in full meltdown for over 24 hours, Multiple PR leads have come and gone and the mods that remain are desperately trying to do anything to get the situation under control. Prodigy posts the following announcement to try and calm the storm. We have seen the comments my fellow roguelings and we hear you loud and clear. We realise that the server has gone through a very radical change as of late. With Sam's departure and recent events there has been discourse brewing. However I would like to take the time to introduce myself. I am Prodigy, your new community manager and I am bringing with me a new tolerance policy going forward. There will be no discussion of any kind regarding one's gender, political affiliation or religious beliefs in this server any longer. 
To compound this, any discussion of the previous discourse will also result in warnings at best and bans at worst. This server is a community based around a Pokemon fan game. There is no world where we should be discussing these hard-hitting topics with people who vary in age from 13 to 30 and beyond. Children could be exposed to these ideologies. Please be ensured that despite us policing these topics, you are heard, and no matter your gender, sex, age, or religion, we support you in your beautiful journey through life. However, this is not the place to discuss nor debate such ideologies. My Roguelings, you represent a beautiful community that is dedicated to the game of Pokemon and the difficulty loop of roguelikes. It is my desire for us to be unified in that love and that love alone. For even divided in belief, we can stand united in adoration for a hobby we share. PokeRogue stands united behind you all. Unfortunately, this announcement seemed to add more fuel to the fire, with some users not agreeing with the new rules and expressing displeasure at being referred to as My Roguelings. One player turned to Reddit to ask what was happening in the server, and some of the replies are very helpful for us. One commenter gives a summary of the events so far and offers some insight into how Prodigy's announcement was received by the community. It reads, One of the latest announcements as of 17th of May 2024 introduced a new community manager named Prodigy. Some feel uncomfortable with being called My Roguelings and the general phrasing of the announcement. Prodigy may have been stripped of their title already, despite the announcement coming out around two hours ago. As of this post, I'm not sure. The discussion on the thread caught the attention of Prodigy themselves, who replied with an explanation of the announcement and a farewell. It reads, This is Prodigy. This will be my one and only comment regarding the situation as I have removed myself voluntarily from everything regarding PokeRogue. I am an ally. I have LGBT plus siblings, my wife is bisexual, and I have many trans friends. I do not wish to disrespect any of them, so I want to be clear. My phrasing was poor. I'm not used to internet rhetoric around transphobia, and due to that, I made a poor wording decision when it came to children being exposed to things. When I said this, in my mind, I believed it to be far more leaning into religious and political views, radical things that could corrupt a youth's mind. I did not want to throw an umbrella over this, yet that is exactly what I did by wording things this way. I don't ask for forgiveness. I've punished myself by removing myself from this beautiful community. However, I will not sit idly by and be labeled a bigot when I've been an ally for so long and protected many from harassment. I merely took the zero tolerance views that the staff originally wanted and tried to put it into words quickly so that the fires would no longer be fanned. I'm sorry for what I've said as it is not indicative of who I am as a person. I'm so sorry to my LGBT plus allies for upsetting you and from the bottom of my heart, I hope time can mend the wound that I have inflicted with my words, accidental as they may be. I am sorry to the server that I have poured so much time and effort into, for my efforts will mean nothing in the wake of this mistake. I loved being a part of this community, and through that love, I find the will to leave it so that it may be a better place without me making more mistakes in my words. Thank you. With Prodigy stepping down, a new mod takes their place. Lost in Thought, who starts things off with a massive announcement and explanation of what's happened. If you'd like to read the announcement, please pause. It's too long to read through in its entirety, but the key points are that the beliefs of some staff members are not representative of the entire team, that the moderation team is entirely led by volunteers, and that they don't have enough help to handle hundreds of issues at once. Due to this, certain things get overlooked or missed, which is interpreted as bigotry, causing another issue in itself. This announcement, unlike others before, was signed off on by the artists, the moderators, and the developers, and was not delivered in haste to quell a raging fire. Despite this announcement, some users were still trying to cause a stir. However, it seems as though they were unable to start up any more outrage, and after days of turmoil, the Pokey Rogue community discord server was able to get back to enjoying the game. Other members of the team such as artists and moderators turned to Twitter to deliver messages to the community. One such artist was Momo the Moth who was fed up with the misinformation that had been happening, sending out a tweet which reads, I cannot allow myself to continue to stand by and have the teams that I work with on a daily basis be misconstrued as transphobic and hateful. I understand that some comments made by Sam were transphobic. I agree about it being disheartening and frustrating. However, his statements are not my own, nor the rest of the team's, just as my statements are no one else's. I've been so stressed about the server that I cannot sleep until I have fully said something myself. 
I know there are additional concerns about the moderation team being transphobic. I had a conversation with the people involved and believe the statements made were misunderstandings. People were not trying to quell the discussion about transness in an attempt to obscure the comments that were leaked by Sam. It was rather just an understaffed moderation team trying to quell the tides of an incoming disaster. At that time, a flood of transphobic comments was slipping through the cracks and everything was building on each other. The staff was overwhelmed and trying to just get the situation under control as best they could. Obviously said attempts were twisted further into perceived bigotry, but I know the people involved and do not believe them to be bigoted. There are active and ongoing efforts to prevent bigotry from happening in the future, and the announcement was made with many people including myself. I wish that we could sit down and have a normal dialogue instead of this continued spiral of miscommunication and hatred. I hope that in coming forward as a member of the head artists that I can provide a space for people to ask questions, a place to get some answers even if they are only from me and do not represent the team. All I ask is please not to harass me for loving the game, for wanting to stay involved, for supposedly being involved in a transphobic project despite me not believing it to be so. I would appreciate if this could be shared to help build an understanding. Again, I'm making this reply against my own better judgment by myself. I do not speak for the team, nor did anyone ask me to speak out. In closing, please feel free to ask me any questions. PM me as long as you are respectful. I don't mind actively trying to clear up any confusion, even if I am a singular person. With these final tweets from staff members like Momo and others, it seems as though the fire in the Pokey Road community Discord server had finally been extinguished. Pokey Rogue has recovered after these events. The game has a massive player base of over 50,000 concurrent players during peak times. The volunteer devs and moderators have gotten the server under control and removed any bad actors. And the community is stronger than ever before. If you liked this video, consider subscribing to let me know I should do more. Thank you for watching.